Hi, my name's Mark and welcome to my kitchen. Hi guys, welcome back to Kitchen War Gamers and welcome back to my kitchen. So this video is uh, only going to be short and basically it's uh, a pre-game, um, some real changes what I've done to play my um, 20, uh, Bolt Action 2090 games. Uh, as you've probably seen, what I'm doing is um, one dice, one model. Uh, it's set in the bit into the future, well a fair bit into the future at the year 2090. And I'm using these Infinity models. Um, and like I said, one dice, one model. Um, so I'm making some real changes um, just before I start the game. Um, I'm basically using all the bolt action rules with um, some alter alterca altercations, <laughs> uh, alterations. Um, so what I'll do is uh, I'll go through um, what I'm going to be um, changing slightly. Um, so I'm going to look at uh, the weapons, armor, assassins and jump pack okay so bear with me and uh, we'll go through the weapons okay i hope you can see this guy um okay with the light blaring in through me doors as usual uh okay so this is the sniper and basically what i'm doing with him is he can move and always shoot and he always hits on the three plus that's obviously to do with uh, being in the future he's got targeters and, and all that fancy stuff on the weapon so he can always move and always shoot and always hits on a three plus um so that, that's slightly different to the normal bot action but like i say it's in the future so he's got all this um modern tech on the weapon uh which allows him to do that so he can be quite um nasty in the game um so that's something to think about with a sniper running around okay so that's a quick one on the sniper uh next we'll have a look at the assault rifle Okay, here's a guy with the assault rifle. Now, as you know, in uh, bolt action, the assault rifle gives you tough fighters and other bits and bonuses. But this one, basically, um, you're going to get none of that. It's just like the basic weapon. So um, all I do is uh, use the stats for the uh, assault weapon, like in uh, bolt action World War II. Uh, so he's like got two shots, and obviously the range is shorter than a normal rifle. But he doesn't get tough fighter. Now the reason behind this is um, because it's a standard weapon and it's one model, uh, one dice. Obviously he's in close combat with one other. Um, you know the effects that uh, assault weapons can give you is pretty much eliminated because you know once you've made a, a hit roll in close combat, uh, you can do another one. But if you're fighting against one guy, uh, so that's what I'm uh, doing with the assault rifles. Okay, let's have a look at a heavy weapon next. Okay, so a guy with a heavy weapon, um, like a, a medium machine gun, uh, handheld. Uh, and the changes I'm making to this um, is basically he can move and shoot. However, when he hits a target, he places two pin markers instead of one, just to show the rate of fire. Um, and I might even knock some of the fire rating down uh, because you're only up against one target, uh, basically. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking of that one. But um, yeah, the main rules is he can move and shoot. And uh, if he hits anybody, he puts two pin markers on them instead of one. Okay, next up, let's have a look at the uh, the swords that some of these guys carry. Okay, I'm going to cover uh, two rules, uh, slight rule changes or modifications on this guy. Uh, because he's, um, I was going to talk about assassins, but this guy is an assassin. And he's also got the sword. So, um, his sword then. Basically what it is, is um, it's one roll to wound. Um, you know, just like making one attack on somebody in close combat. Um, but the thing is, um, he always rolls first. And, um, so I'm just looking at my notes. Yeah, they always roll first. Um, so if you've got guys... Um, that are um, in the second round of combat where you both fight together. No matter what, he always rolls first, unless he's up against somebody with another sword, and then obviously it's a uh, fight together. So that's the only thing really with swords. Uh, the next thing, this guy's an assassin. Now what I'm doing with assassins is, um, 
if you are targeting a trained assassin like this guy because he's used to sneaking about and probably got some cloaking device or something when you target him before you shoot to hit you need to roll a four plus so on a four five or six you can actually see him to shoot him on a one to three uh, you can't um, so it's like a 50 50 chance of you actually spotting this uh, super snipe uh, super sniper super assassin running around the battlefield and I just thought that I'd give uh, you know a, a bit of a bit more dramaticism um, to being a sniper Okay, next up we'll um, talk about uh, armour and uh, what you need to wound and stuff. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so here we are with um, what you need to hit with um, armour. Because these guys have got different types of armour. Basically, uh, I'm putting into either normal or heavy. So these guys, uh, one's got no armour whatsoever, one's, the other one's got slight armour. But I'm classing them the same. And what you need to do is, like you're hitting uh, a regular troop, uh, you need a 4 plus. Uh, I'll just move that out of the way. That's basically it for the uh, normal armour. Now the second armour category is the heavy armour. Just so you can see these in the light. Um, right, so this is heavy armour. So basically it makes him like an elite trooper. So you need a 5 uh, to hit him. However, because he's um, wearing heavy armour, um, if you do hit him, you need to re -ro um, Sorry, getting mixed up. Uh, if you do hit him, the guy rolls, and it's sort of like an armor save. On a four, five, or a six, he ignores the wound. So first off, you need um, a five to hit him, and then if you do hit him on a five or a six, the wound's ignored. Okay, so that's pretty much it um, about that. Um, we'll just go on to one last thing, and that's the jump pack. See you soon. Okay, so this is the guy with the jump pack. Basically what it's doing is um, he can either move six inches uh, normally across ground or 12 inches normally across ground or to charge. However, he can do the same, but um, going higher or whatever. So basically he could uh, go up to 12 inches um, jumping over terrain or jumping up terrain um, just to you know, illustrate that he's got a jump pack. So he can ignore terrain while moving and also get up onto the top of buildings or everything, if it, as long as it's in within his 12. Now, another big um, thing I'm going to do with him, if he does use his jump pack uh, and he goes to 12 inches, he can still fire. Uh, that's because of stabilizers and everything. But if he's on the ground, obviously the normal effects um, of a minus one for moving, or you use your 12 to either run or go into close combat, you can't fire. That's the same. It's only when he's using it in the jump pack rule. So this guy could basically jump up on the top of a building and uh, fire a weapon uh, after moving 12 inches with the jump pack. Okay, that's pretty much it, guys. I just thought I'd go through this. Um, it's just some rules I thought about with it being a bit more futuristic in bolt action. Uh, I'm going to start filming the, um, the game now. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be solo. Um, as, as normally, I can't get the guys with me. Everyone's busy and um, it's just getting harder to get together with what people are working okay so hopefully the next video after this will be the battle itself and don't forget to please leave any comments or thoughts and uh, once i play the game i'll have a bit more idea of anything else i can change um just to change things up but actually using the bolt action rules so if you've got models knocking about or you collect models and you've got no real real system or if you've just got bolt action um, it's just another idea of uh, using this. Now, when I've done 2090, I'm going to be using um, when they're made up uh, is bolt action, but with Vikings. So, like, you know, medieval stuff. So, that should be interesting. So, keep your eyes out for that in the future. Just want to again thank everyone who subscribed to the channel and uh, very appreciated. And uh, if you haven't, if you do so, that would be fantastic. And don't forget to like and leave any comments. I always get back to you on, back to you on comments. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the, the battle next time. So in the remember, in the in remember, in the meantime, remember to make it, paint it, and play it. And see you soon, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.